Hey guys, hey guys, and welcome to another Let's Play. This is Cold Fear. Now, I originally picked this up uh, a few days ago on the PlayStation 2, and I did indeed intend to do the PlayStation 2 version. There's only one problem with the PlayStation 2 version. And the problem is, it's shit. It's really, really shit. It's uh, very slow. Let's just say that. It feels like the game's consistently running at 20 frames a second. And it was so blurry and hard to see, you know, pretty much anything. And bearing in mind, I play a lot of PlayStation 2 games. And even as PlayStation 2 games go, it was bad. Now, um, I have picked up the PC version, the Steam version of the game. This also has its own issues, but it is significantly, infinitely better than the PS2 version. Also, at the time of buying this game, um, there was 47 minutes left to pick it up on sale for 85 pence, which is exactly what I did. Now, I've never played this game before, apart from the first half hour on the PlayStation 2 and PC trying to get things sorted, but uh, I'm looking forward to it. It plays a little bit like Resident Evil 4. We are isolated and alone on a whaling ship of some description, and bad things are going on. It has been so long since I've played a game. Um, on the PC. I'm really looking forward to it. Now, this game, as I said, has some problems uh, on the PC. Because I run two monitors, this game, by default, if you buy it on Steam, doesn't full screen. Um, it's always playing it in windowed mode, no matter what you do. So as you're aiming with the mouse and whatnot, if you have two monitors, your mouse is constantly going over to the other monitor and kicking you out of the game. That is annoying and bad. The game also doesn't support uh, modern resolutions, which isn't actually a problem. Uh, as long as the game would full screen. But it doesn't. But I have downloaded a uh, custom patch for the game, which does unlock all the goodies. We now have V-Sync. Which is nice, because the game didn't have that before. So, although we were playing at 144 frames on the PC, it was it was a bit weird. Uh, now we get a decent lock to the monitor refresh rate, which is 144 frames. Which, my god guys, coming from like 15 to 20 from the PlayStation 2 to 144. It, yeah, uh, transformative. Um... And we have full 1080p resolution, which this game looks fairly crisp, actually. So, let's get into the game. We're going to go on normal, because I've never played this game before. And I, I don't really know what it's like, how ammo and weapons and all that good stuff works. Healing, saves, that sort of shit. So, we're going to go normal. And I am... Going to see how it goes. I did watch Manga Minx or the RPG Minx, whatever she calls herself these days, play uh, a good chunk of this game back when I used to have time to watch Let's Plays, which feels like a lifetime ago. And it did catch my eye. So, let's go normal. Also, it fixes all the FMV so they play at the correct frame rate and uh, resolution, which is really fucking nice. I love PC gaming. Come in. 
Damn it, Hernandez. Talk to me. What's going on? I'm not getting anything here. Marcus. Law. Do you hear me? Come on. Somebody answer me. Is anybody alive out there? Come here. Get me another asset up there, Pronto. Anything we've got. Anything. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. This is the USS Ravenswood. We arrived in the vicinity of the vessel and will now initiate a search patrol and look for it. Ravenswood out. Well, that doesn't sound good. Uh, I got a feeling we're the only guys left. Right, so here we are. And we've lost V-Sync. And we've lost our 144 hertz for some reason. But hey, whatever. Right, so here we are on the main deck. Um, there was an original squad sent in that got absolutely exterminated. I'm not surprised, considering they were wearing uh, weird, funky orange and yellow goggles that completely obscured their vision. Uh, not really sure what that was about. Anyway, our name is Tom Hansen, I believe. Uh, and uh, it looks like we are the backup second wave team, and we're all that's left. So, let's explore, shall we? A note about ammunition conservation. Due to the platform's irregular supplies, we must conserve our munitions and medkits as much as possible. Therefore, one, live ammo training is now suspended pending new orders. Two, in a combat situation, it is vital that all soldiers look to their downed comrades as potential sources of ammo or medkits. In the same interest of economy, use body searches when really necessary. Yes, reach deep kids the good stuff's at the bottom uh three use the butt of your rifle in close combat situations this will enable you to gain the necessary distance to adjust your aim some of your opponents will attempt to immobilize you do not simply empty your clips i think they mean magazines strike out at them to free yourself and shoot at point blank range this is generally highly effective well okay though so, we do have a melee, which I'm unsure what the melee is. I did have it. I know if we hold down spacebar, that makes us run, which is nice. If we hold down uh, control, control is like grab onto things, which is quite useful. Uh, you can perch yourself on things, which I'm sure in these rough tumultuous seas is going to be fairly handy. Now we have a handgun with a few rounds. Oh my god, guys. Mouse and fucking keyboard. Mouse and keyboard aiming. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Have I missed this? Look at this. Oh, yeah, boys. Right, anyway. This ship definitely has seen some... Uh, some better days I would say so let's start exploring I've got a room up here so we know to let these badniks whatever the hell they are get close to us and then blast them got ya 
Uh, e is to enter buildings and search and whatnot. Ooh, was there like dudes outside there? I missed that. I like it. This game's got an atmosphere to it. Uh, and through like the 20 or 30 minutes or so that I've played, it's a really fucking good one. It's cool. Now, our heroic Tom Hansen here, who is too handsome to work with anybody else, I guess. Oh, hello. Is in with his name. That was his lucky escape, I suppose. All right, let's keep moving down and searching the ship. So what we got? We've got a handgun with seven a seven magazine capacity with 42 spare. So that gives us a nice... Uh, 49 rounds of ammo, which ain't bad. This is also ammo, I believe. Yeah, I'm fully loaded with this ammo. Dude, I'm sure you could squeeze another magazine in your pocket somewhere. I'm just saying, we probably don't be smacked around the face with that big uh, swingy thing as well. Look at the sea. Look at this. Look at this. I think this mission requires a little bit extra danger pay. I'm just saying. Right, whoa, the deck is really rolling. One wrong move and I'm overboard. Yeah, no kidding. Have to judge this just right or I'll go overboard. Yeah, let me just check the controls here. Uh, I guess we can't check the controls. Um, there is a button that will allow us to brace. Okay, so shift. Left, right shift is melee. Well, that's silly. But E is also melee, so that's forgiven. Alright. Alright. Oh, dude. Some guy just got wasted. Uh, my commiserations, my friend. Run! Remember your training, Tom. You will make it back alive. Okay, good stuff. Oof, store room. That sounds like somewhere we want to go. Damn things locked from the inside. Built the same where ours are. I better read the inscription so that I don't get lost. Let's see how much of my Russian I still remember. Hmm. Ah, right. So that's the main deck. So if we aim our laser at things, he will read them. That's actually quite a cool little thing. That's why it comes up saying store. I see. Now, when I was playing this on the PS2, bearing in mind I do have the HDMI cable, which generally makes PlayStation 2 games look really nice, you couldn't even really make out the laser that's being emitted from the gun. So, bear that in mind. This door is locked by an electrical system. Now, electrical system is no problem because we have a gun. Alright, let's go. Let's head inside. <laughs> uh, guys, guys, I'm I'm just the friendly neighborhood American. Let's let's talk about this. Let's be calm. Everybody, be cool. Okay, everybody, be cool. Ow, ow, my face, my beautiful face. Well, that was needless. So we do have some living people on this ship, but they're definitely afraid of something. Also, oh, the loading is so much better as well. Holy shit, going through doors. Um, also, uh, aiming is really hard with how the ship sways. It's kind of an interesting mechanic. Ooh. Well, that was ass. Are you going to get it up, sir? I can't see what I'm doing or what I'm looking at now. Are you going to get up, sir? Your guts are hanging out. Now your head's off. I'm assuming we have a light somewhere. There we go. I got some pistol ammo. That's nice. Right, we've got some pistol ammo and a whole load of nothing else. We've got some bilge rats in here, too. Let's not play with those. 
Now, there's no map as far as I can uh, tell, which isn't brilliant, to be honest. Yeah, we need a code. We need to shut this damn alarm off as well. It's doing my head in. At least we can go into these buildings. Ooh. Ooh. If in doubt, put a round in him. All right, Tom, what we got, buddy? Oof. What have... What the... Frick, is that what we're up against? Like weird monkey alien things? Yeah, we can handle those, I hope. A health pack. That feels good. Well, I would be concerned if it didn't feel good, to be honest. Okay. Let's get out of here. So, it looks like we're fighting some like weird monkey things. I have no idea how we're going to save the game. Yeah, we're going to fiddle with that in a minute. Also, right, this corridor, when I was playing on the PlayStation 2... This corridor was like black. I could not see what the hell I, I was meant to be doing here. That ring, uh, that valve there, which is flashing and glinting. If it was flashing and glinting, I couldn't see it. So, already quite happy. Right, we've already been in here. Okay, cool. Let's go fiddle with the valve. So the only thing I'm worried about is like if we have any crashing problems or whatnot. Pistol ammo, it's not what we wanted. I mean, we, we okay, guess we did want it. We always want pistol ammo. But we don't have a map, which is problematic from a gameplay standpoint. So, can we... We can go in here now. Son of a bitch, we got enemies in here. Oh, son of a dude. Oof, dude. Didn't have to go out, didn't have to go down like that, my friend. Didn't have to go down like that. Nothing useful. Son of a bitch. So, we've got a lot of rooms here that don't appear to have anything in. Just keep my eyes peeled for any kind of glinting or anything. I'm liking this, actually. This is really cool. It's a very... That didn't happen. I've got to find that, code. that didn't happen when I was playing this on the PS2. So that's back to the rear deck. That's not where we want to go. Okay, cool. Let's get out of here. Right, this is all the shit that's on fire. Ooh. Ammunition room, by the look of things. Wow. Oh, my God. Everything's so clear. You can see everything. Like, all those bullets and uh, all that funky jazz in that locker there. You couldn't even make out what that was on the PlayStation 2. It sounds like I'm ragging on the PS2 quite a lot. I actually, you know, people that know my channel, I actually love the PlayStation 2, but, uh, well, it's, uh, it's an old system now. So we can grab ammo from here. I don't know if ammo is infinitely restockable here. I get the feeling it might be. He's got nothing. But we do have a bit of paper here that we can read. A note about the armory. So, Order 12. Smoking in the armory is strictly forbidden. All types of munitions are stored there. And some are particularly unstable. Moreover, in our environment, there is a high probability of corrosion, which makes the handling of ammunition an even more delicate issue. You are reminded that our facilities for dealing with serious injury are extremely limited. Okay, I have been reminded and we have been warned. So I guess if we go to armories, we can like restock our ammo. Kind of like how they did it in um, Resident Evil Dead Aim, but obviously Dead Aim was limited. But it kind of looks like a similar system. 
A note about electrical boxes. Okay. Uh, certificate of death. Name. Corporal Y. Uh, Legagi? Leg. Legai? Legai? I don't know. Uh, cause of death. Electrocution. Details. According to witnesses, Corporal Leg had misplaced his electronic key whilst on duty. Unable to reach his official post, he promptly fired at the electrical control box on door 117, uh, 114, causing it to explode. Exposed live wiring subs <laughs> subsequently came into contact with a pool of water on the floor. The door opened. However, Corporal Leg was electrocuted. No follow-up necessary. Uh, well, I mean, that's kind of a sad way to go out, really. I don't know why you would last away at a door an electrical box no less you know it seems a little bit uh, silly to me but hey you know oh we've got a medical room here sick bay Great. It's locked. so that one's locked this one is not locked you're out there dude seem to be having a bit of a bad day a page from diary. Our first encounter with the creatures we now call the exo uh, exocells came roughly two months after drilling commenced on the start of uh, Sakhalin platform. In fact, I was already familiar with this platform. We used to use it as a port of call when patrolling these hostile waters, and I was determined it would again be deployed uh, as part of our international operations. Whilst drilling had effectively stopped some years before, this was not because the rig was unprofitable. Quite the contrary. It was because the spare parts often needed were simply never delivered. The Russians' state private partners grew wary of the whole affair. All I had to do was wait a couple of years to repurchase it for scrap. At first, the cartel was sceptical about the new operation's success, and I made necessary investments for its recommissioning myself the communication jammer the plans for which had been provided by former red army brain stergai Ostarian, was remarkably effective as far as international ears were concerned uh, whether listening in on earth or from space there was nothing there but inhospitable inhospitable ocean and the odd iceberg for the first 25 days drilling was successful as expected, and then, even though our sonars confirmed the presence of a huge oil reserve, the pressure started to drop. Suddenly, the drill brought up several exocells that um, Anishenko and his men had great difficulty in overcoming. Two days later, we noticed some more specimens crawling up the platform's columns. I immediately gave Anishenko orders to capture some of them. That's when I saw my first contamination. Right. I like the story. So we've got an, we've got a drilling platform that has been drilling for oil. Obviously, I mean that's kind of what they do. And it's been bringing up like oil zombies or something. Hmm. Interesting. It's not an angle you hear very often. Let's check out the med room. Oof. This place has definitely seen better days. Definitely seen better days. So, I mean, if we look at this, we've got like six med kits here. I don't know how we turn our light on or off. I know we can, because I did it on the... Oh, we can crouch. That's also good to know. Yeah, not sure how we turn our light on and off. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, so there's like six health um, items in there. We don't really want to use that yet because our health's pretty good. And I guess we can always come back here later. Uh, that's also locked, that door at the end, which, again, I guess we'll come into later. The controls are really freaking weird. I will just say that, Jimmy, if, when you get to this game. The controls are really strange. <coughs> So if you hold down the uh, left or the right mouse button, you can aim freely. If you let go, you go into like a Resident Evil kind of camera mode. 
But you can also put your gun back. Yes, uh, you can uh, unready your gun by pushing shift. But shift does not then re-ready your gun. Uh, it's going to take some getting used to, I think. Alright, let's keep going down. See if we can find this key. Portside cold rooms. Ugh, this place is trashed. Cold room run. Cold room one, I should say. Cold room two. There's an electrical box there that I guess we can shoot. But hey, if we remember Corporal Leg, he did himself a bit of a, a disservice. Alright, let's kill that thing. Upper deck key. Alright, well, we got ourselves a key. I still don't know how to save the game. Gotta find a handle to stick back on this door. Uh, I mean, there's a handle there. I don't know if we can take that handle. Right, if you don't shoot that corpse, it will lunge at you. I don't know if it actually hurts you, but. Oh, he gave us pistol armor. Oh, no! No! Okay, so remember when I said interact? Um, I'm missing in action. Remember when I said interact um, was the reload button? And uh, not the reload button, the melee button. Apparently, you can um, melee the doors which electrocute you. So. That was annoying, and I have to go through that again, um, which will actually be the sixth time uh, across the PlayStation and PC. Ah, oh, Jesus. How do you fucking save this game? Like, I have played... I've now done this beginning bit. Well, when I do it again, it will be the sixth time. I don't know how we save the game. Um, but I guess don't... Don't accidentally try and open doors next to electrical boxes because you will melee them. And if there is a pool of water next to them, you will instantly die. Jesus fucking Christ. That would actually have been really funny if it wasn't the sixth time I would have to go back through it. Uh, right, anyway guys, I'm actually enjoying this game. Ooh incredible frustrations aside uh, I hope you're gonna enjoy this with me I'm looking forward to getting to the bottom of what the hell is going on around here hopefully we'll find out how to save the game oh god I hope we can save the game so thanks for watching guys and as always till next time